Hey everyone, welcome to the reptile room. Today, we're going to do some maintenance on Caboose's cage. This is Caboose. Caboose I've had for right around 10 years. Um, my first snake. Big, awesome ball python. Normal. She, I do believe, is my biggest ball python that I currently have. Very cool, very cool snake, really like it. This is kind of what got me started. So I've already got her out of the enclosure, so it's pretty much the same as what we did with Jane's enclosure, which I'll link in the description if you didn't see that. Um, for now, I'm just gonna go ahead and put Caboose in with Jane and, and go ahead and get cleaning on the enclosure. So right now, I'll just hold this light up so you can kind of see what's going on here in the background. Got a big piece of driftwood that I went and collected. Again, I can show you guys that if you'd like. I've got a couple other pieces on the right-hand side. This is the warm side. This is the cool side. I try to keep the enclosures with their warm sides together so that I can sit down across the room and, and just watch them hang out. So we'll go ahead and just take everything out. Um, do the same thing as last time, dump all the substrate in a bucket, get it rehydrated, and then we'll start putting everything back together again. Alright guys, well as you can see I've got all the substrate out, I put the water bowl back in, kind of in the same area, I think it works pretty well there. Again, just kind of overlapping the heat just a little bit. Um, it's not going to keep the water warm, it's just going to, I just do it because I think it might. Uh, so I'm going to go ahead and put the substrate back in and then we'll go ahead and start positioning some rocks and stuff and maybe see what we can come up with. So this time what I think I'm going to do is I'm going to use some of the rocks. I didn't use very many rocks in the other one, just his offering plate and Jane's, which you can see in the description. Uh, so I'm going to go ahead and grab some rocks that I have here. Uh, they're, they're just straight out of another enclosure. They've been cleaned off a little bit. Um, rinsed off and now I'll just kind of put them in and see what, see what I think. So these are just rocks that I have collected myself. I'm just going to try to block off the water dish a little bit with them just to kind of hide it, create the illusion of a more natural enclosure. And then I have quite a few rocks. I even have a bucket somewhere else that I have to dig out for the next enclosure. So I kind of like these big rocks down here, just kind of blocking it, but I'm gonna use the substrate just to kind of fill in the gaps here. And then I'll put in some of the smaller rocks. Let me know what you guys think down below. So what I'm going to do just to get some of that extra coconut off of the, off of the rocks, I'm just going to take my sprayer and just kind of water it down in there. It'll give the tank a little bit of extra humidity as well. I'm gonna give it a quick mist just to kind of cut down on the dust a little bit. Not all of the coconut got wet just like last time, or damp I should say. You don't really want it to be wet. You wanna make sure it is kind of, it is dry-ish. It's just a little moist or damp for people who do not like that word. So this piece of driftwood is most definitely Caboose's piece of driftwood. He really likes to, well, she really likes to climb all over it and really do some exploring around it. It helps with shedding. There are some, there are some sharper points, but they aren't sharp. It's driftwood, so it's a little bit, so it can, so Caboose can really get that shed off. Kind of like that. That seems to fit pretty well. This can kind of come back in here, give them a little bit of space, give the illusion that it's been there a little while, cover up some of the spots with some coconut, 
The real trick with caboose is caboose really likes to coil up around these bigger pieces of driftwood. So if you got to get them out, it is a bit of a challenge, but that is kind of all the fun of keeping a more naturalistic uh, enclosure for them, I think. So this is another piece. I'm going to see where I can get it to fit. Well, I think that looks pretty cool. It almost looks like one big root structure over here. He does have a plant, or she does have a plant that is growing in the water. It's the same plant, seems to be doing just fine. It hasn't really grown a ton, but it has definitely not died off. So I'm gonna keep it, we're gonna keep it lit, see, see how it goes. The one last thing I'm definitely gonna put in there is just this. I found this piece in a river, so I, I cleaned it up, and this is Caboose's offering plate for dinner. Um, so I'm just gonna stick it over here for now. Uh, we'll see if uh, Caboose finds them over there, but this is kind of a more natural kind of a hide, more maybe what you would find. I know they live in more termite mounds, but I don't have a termite mound. We'll probably build something like that at some point and uh, I'll show you guys how. I've, I've done one in the past, see if we can do it again. Uh, so now I think I'm just going to put Caboose back in here and uh, put the light on and, and see see what you guys think. Again, let me know what you would do a little bit differently. This is the hot spot over here. You know, this is the cool spot. And um, let me know what you guys would do in the comments below. I don't know if you can see this, but Jane is coming back over wants to apparently visit with Caboose here. I think that's pretty funny. All right, so you can see Caboose is back in there. Seems to really be enjoying it. Crawling around, just like I thought. So here's what we did. It doesn't block it quite as much as a piece of driftwood, but I did some rocks here. The rocks, I think, look really nice. Caboose vanishing back into the back. Again, as I said in the last video, uh, you will definitely, definitely have a plan for what you think your scape is going to look like, but the snake is going to move it all around. Caboose is big and strong, definitely going to move some stuff around. So we'll kind of see what Caboose thinks about the enclosure. And uh, as always, thanks for joining me. This has been the Reptile Room.